Hello and welcome to how to make a climate data graph in Excel. So first of all you'll have seen that on the screen here I've included all of the data for London. That's the month, the rainfall, average rainfall per month, minimum temperature and maximum temperature. That information is available on Nexus under the climate data London file. And I've pasted it into a new Excel file. Now, next thing to do is to click all of these boxes, select all of these boxes. Then if you go up to insert, go to recommended charts, and then click up here at the top all charts. Because what we wanted to have is a combination then we click combo. Now it starts to look a little bit like a climate data graph. Except we've just got to change some of these axes. Here's the horizontal axis here. This is the primary vertical and secondary vertical. So what we want to do is keep the rainfall at the bottom. But we need to change this one, the minimum temperature, to be a line graph. Okay, and then we want to have the rainfall as a secondary access. Okay, awesome. That's what it looks like now. If we click OK, it's starting to get there. We need to tweak it a little bit more though. Um, now we need to click and change some settings. So if we click on this axis here, and right click, we get this menu here. We want format axis. Then under bounds, we click, we change that value to 150. Ooh, and then that changes, brings it all down a bit further. Okay. Now, Sorry, that's got a bit lost. Okay. Next, we go to, we need to change some of the chart elements, so you can close that. If we go to add chart element up in the top corner here. We go to axis titles, primary horizontal, type rainfall. That changes that down there. We go up and do that again. Primary vertical, we call it temperature, and we go centigrade, put it into C. Oh, it comes out with copyright. Oh, okay, I don't know how to fix that, but I'm sure someone will tell me how. Then we go to secondary vertical. And we type rainfall mm, not m and m's, but millimeters. Lastly, we go to chart title, click above chart, and we go London climate graph. Your beauty. And there is our London climate graph. Once we now need to save it and print it and put it in our workbook. Thank you very much. Bye for now.